My name is Peter Fleming. I'm a professor at the University of Technology, Sydney. I had a position at Cambridge University for some years and then the University of London. Um, I look at the future of work. I study what work is, um, how it's evolving, and also um, the intersection with the latest developments in technology. I think that there is a lot of potential in the latest wave of technology that we're seeing, particularly associated with artificial intelligence. But it seems to be uh, almost trapped, if you like, in power relations that aren't going to yield its potential. And those power relations are very social and they're linked to inequality. They're linked to regimes of work that are going to be perpetuated rather than overcome with the latest um, developments in technology. So I think it's very close and we can see this leap into a new kind of era, if you like, a new um, era of the good life, but we're not really there yet. One of the main kind of steps forward are to rethink our attachment to some very ingrained economic assumptions, uh, growth, that consumption makes us happy, buying stuff, consumerism, um, and perhaps most importantly, the assumption that work um, is something that's natural and that um, it's with us whether we like it or not. I think that as, as, as long as we're really attached to those basic economic assumptions, then we're not really going to get ahead given that we don't need as much of those things anymore in order to be happy. In fact, <clears throat> I would argue that they're making us deeply unhappy in, in some profound ways. Predominantly in the gig economy, for example, algorithms have been quite um, destructive in dehumanizing the workplace and isolating workers, for example, in the ride-sharing uh, industry. Algorithms have been used to enforce um, some rather draconian um, governmental policies related around welfare. So it's not surprising that we see the use of algorithms in this regressive way. Um, if we had more just social relationships behind them, driving and directing these new technological developments, we'd probably see something quite different. Mass production is still the norm, I would, I would suggest, when it comes to the global global economic system just look at the pandemic that is that we're kind of being swept away in and the rush the mad rush to produce as much vac as many vaccines as possible that's mass production and um, brought into the medical sciences do we need another paradigm or a different paradigm i think yes we need a new generation of economists of economists to think about concepts and develop concepts that take us towards a paradigm that is more gentle on the environment and more gentle on us as people, I think. I don't think that um, we need to have this obsession with growth anymore and that it's doing more harm than good. But we also have to think about what do we mean by growth? Um, and within the neoliberal economic mindset, it's a very strange abstraction. You know, by and large, it refers to increasing, you know, the rising stock market that is assumed to be infinite. Why do we have an economy? Do we have, have an, econ an economy simply to grow in and of itself? Or do we have an economy to make it easier for the large majority of people to live and to have happy lives? And I think that big question has been forgotten. And we need to really put it back on the table, if you like.